when does it first click? Like, I think other people would dig this. Or did you know that from the beginning? I had a hunch because, you know, I had a pretty good cross sampling of people at my table. I had folks who were professionals. I had folks who were, you know, working, you know, entry level positions. I had kids. When I say kids, like 18, 19, 20, 21, what we, you and I would call those people. are kids. <laughs> yeah, those are kids. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, so I, they seem to be pretty excited about it. Um, and they were asking me how I did it and how it was made out of and all kind of good stuff. And so what I did was the original Trino instructions was basically a free PDF I put up on my site. Because at the time, I was thinking of doing a retail site for, uh, for tabletop role-playing game accessories anyway. And this was sort of what I was doing on the side. So I put it up. And uh, it got a pretty immediate response. Like, I got a lot of people running back to me how, though? loving the system. Right, because that doesn't just happen on its own, Jake. So how did, how did Eyeballs find you? I, uh, you know, the company we used to work for, I used to do marketing for. Right. So I did a little bit of, you know, guerrilla marketing. I actually went on to Reddit and I did a time lapse of a build of Terreno. And to this day, it's in uh, D&D. D, it's D-N-D-I-Y is a subreddit. It is in the top 10 posts of all time. It got 12,000 likes in the first week. Wow. And on our D&D, it is in the top 50 to this day. That's incredible. So I'm like, okay. I was really that that was sort of like oh wow that's that's that that there's this has some legs yeah I found something you know yeah yeah I found something right and uh, but then it was like trying to figure out like what do I do with it um, so basically what I originally did was I really just tried to make more videos on it and all that kind of stuff but I kept getting asked to do more and different pieces and to extend the system mm-hmm. 